Today we're going to talk about the wireless pressure sensor from Card Access, how to wire it up, and a couple of ideas on how to implement it in your Control 4 projects. The smart pressure sensor is a two-wire dry contact. So what you do is you take the wireless contact sensor from Card Access, the back plate here, and you're going to feed this underneath. So you can see that we put this into terminals two and four. So once you've got that wired up, all you need to do is put the contact sensor back onto it again. You should be able to take the wireless contact sensor and push it all the way to the back of the couch so that you're not sitting on anything like this. Then you'll take the smart pressure sensor and you're gonna want this to face so that this side of it is facing up, okay? Because what this is is a flex sensor in here that's gonna measure the resistance um, that is being applied to it in order to create a closed contact which will register as a occupied state. And now, when I sit down, an event will register, whether it's the TV turning on, the lights turning off, uh, maybe you've got it in a bed so that when you get out of bed in the middle of the night, the lights will ramp up to a 10% level. Now that you've got this all wired up, that's going to be great for this particular couch cushion, but you're probably saying, well, what if I would like to know if someone sits in this cushion or that cushion right there? Not a problem at all. All you have to do is wire these in series, and if anyone sits in any of the cushions, then it will register as an occupied event. So let's talk about wiring in series. We've got three different smart pressure sensors for each one of the cushions in this particular couch. What you're going to want to do is you're going to take this it has two wires on both ends. You're going to connect one of these wires to another wire on a different smart pressure sensor. Tie those together, wire nut them off. Okay? And so what you'll end up doing is these will wire like this, and then your two end wires, uh, this one here and that one there, those two wires will wire into numbers two and four on the terminal block of the wireless contact sensor. Press and hold the ID button for about 10 seconds until the LED starts flashing red. And then as soon as it starts flashing red, go ahead and sit down where you have the smart pressure sensor located. So I'm gonna sit down until this starts flashing green. And as soon as it starts flashing green, now I can stand up. So it should be calibrated, that's all you have to do. Hold it until it flashes red, wait till it flashes green, and then get out of the chair. Now it knows what you mean to have as an occupied state. So then you can go back into Composer and verify that it is being occupied or unoccupied when someone sits in the chair. Very simple, just take your laptop, sit down, Make sure that it's reading a closed contact, stand up, make sure it's reading an open contact. Now, if you have this wired in series, make sure that you do the exact same steps, but be especially careful not to sit on more than one sensor. So don't have you sit down and someone else sit down on a sensor at the same time when you're calibrating it, because it takes the, the sum total of the resistance in that flex sensor that we talked about earlier in order to determine whether it is an occupied or an unoccupied state. So if you just sit on one of the cushions, it will enable you to sit on any one of the cushions at any given point in time and view that the couch is occupied. The third option is to wire it up in parallel. Now this is what it's gonna look like when you wire it up in parallel. Every pressure sensor that you have is, are all going to wire directly into terminals two and four. So what it's gonna do is take the sum of the resistance each of the pressure sensors in order to read as an occupied state. So in this particular situation, all three couch cushions would have to be occupied before it's gonna register as an occupied state or a closed contact, as opposed to just any one of the three being, being sat upon. So hopefully you can see that wiring up the smart pressure sensor is a pretty simple task. It shouldn't take you more than a couple of minutes whether you're wiring up one or several of the smart pressure sensors should be a piece of cake. Now you can do this and further automate your home.